chapter 13 and verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, mm -hmm. to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Alright, this is, he causes how many? It's like it. All. He causes all, right? So, we about to see who this all is. Let's get uh, Revelation 18 and 3. The precept he just called for really has nothing to do with Revelation 13 and 16 except the word nations in the precept that he just called for Revelation 18 and 3 for all nations. When you read Revelation 13 and 16 when it says he calls of all meaning all people. Revelation 13 and 16 is talking about all people, all people on the planet Earth. The top banking families, the he is the top banking families, which they are going to make it mandatory that everybody on the planet Earth be chipped, be electronically tagged. All right. Now, on the planet Earth, you have people that are separated into nations. You have people that are separated into nations. Right? You cannot separate the all, which when you look up the Greek word, the Greek word there is pas in Revelation 13, 16. When you look up the Greek word for all is pas, which means individuals, but individuals collectively make up a nation. That's how you would explain that. Now, for him to call this precept, Revelation 18 and 3, that really has nothing to do with Revelation 13 and 16 because this is a totally different argument. Revelation 18 and 3, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. That's talking about America. All right? That's talking about America. The other nations have drunken of the philosophy of America, which eventually will make them upset and eventually they will shoot missiles on America. A precept that lines up with that is the book of Obadiah 1 and 7. It says, all the men of thy confederacy, thy confederacy, whose confederacy? The men that are in bed with America by their philosophy, okay? By their philosophy, the American philosophy. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understand, understanding in him. Exactly. All the countries that have drunken of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. In other words, all the countries that have taken on the American philosophy eventually will get upset because of the American philosophy and eventually shoot missiles on America. That's what Revelation 18 and 3 is talking about. Okay? Because as you read on, all the nations that became rich because of the American philosophy eventually they're going to shoot missiles on America because America, the word America means bitter. And if you take on the American philosophy long enough, it reduces your country to bitterness. And that's what these other countries are seeing. So eventually they're going to say, look, we got to get rid of America. And that's really the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, that's the will of the Heavenly Father to totally destroy this place, turn this place into a lake of fire. The place I'm talking about is America. Because as you read the next verse, it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Why? Because all the other nations that were in bed with America, the American philosophy, eventually they're going to get upset and they're going to be, you know, they're going to be tired of America's BS and shoot missiles on this place. So the Lord is saying to his people, which are the elect of the nation of Israel, to come out of her before I destroy her. 
Okay? And that's going to happen when Yahweh Shai comes with those angels. You're literally going to hear a voice that's going to be said in Hebrew to the Lord's elect to come out of her. Right? Come out of her. As it is written, the Lord shall descend from heaven with what? With a shout. The voice of an archangel, right? So you're going to literally hear a voice say, come out of her, my people. And no doubt it's going to be said in Hebrew. All right? Come out of her, my people. And that's going to be right before Yahweh Shai and the angels, along with the missiles, destroy this place, America, and turn it in, into a lake of fire. So the Lord is going to say to his elect, come out of her. How are they going to come out of her? By those chariots, so-called UFOs. They're going to be abducted, if you will, by those so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord. And the scriptures for that is 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, where it speaks about we shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Okay? That's talking about the so-called UFOs, the chariots. Also, Isaiah, the 26th chapter, the 20th verse, where it says, uh, Come, my people, hide from the indignation of the Lord for a while. All right? So, he just called for Revelation 18 and 3. That has nothing to do with Revelation 13 and 16. You know, the scriptures speak about rightly dividing the word. All right? Rightly dividing the word. And the precept he just called for does not explain Revelation 13 and 16. Except the only word there in Revelation 18 and 3 is the word nations. All right. Now, Revelation 13 and 16, it calls of all, both small and great. All is talking about individuals. When you go into the Greek, the word there is pas, which means individuals. Now, individuals collectively make up a nation. It is true that the top banking families want this chip to be taken by every nation on the planet Earth. They want everyone chipped. They want everyone chipped. You cannot separate the term nations from people. All right? People denotes nations. You have enough people, they form what? A nation. Okay? Even when you look up the word nation, I did it in my last video, you look up the word nation, is from the Latin slash Italian, meaning born. People are born into nations. Now, it is true that the top banking families, they want everyone chipped. We get that from Aaron Russo and his conversation to Alex Jones. All right? And he talked about his friend Nick Rockefeller. Nick Rockefeller said, look, we want everyone chipped. And when he said everyone, he means everyone. That's everybody on the planet Earth. They want them chipped. That is the goal of the New World Order, to have everyone chipped. Everyone electronically tagged so that lines up with the prophecy he calls if all is something that Esau is about to do some major catastrophe or catastrophes that are going to be brought on the planet earth that are going to deceive people into taking that chip all right we have to wait and see what it's going to be but it's going to be something drastic all right it's going to put people's backs against the wall so to speak and the only recourse, the only action, besides those that have this knowledge, this truth, the only recourse, the only action for people that don't have this knowledge, this truth, is to take that mark, to take that chip. And it's going to go by way of currency. All right? It's going to go by way of currency because the chip is going to be the new currency. All right? You have something called the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. That, essentially, that is the chip, the CBDC, all right? It's a prelude to the chip. As a matter of fact, you have something called gradualism, all right? Gradualism, okay? Gradualism of what? Control. That's what the top wicked elite have been doing. They have been gradually imposing their control, all right, on people. Okay, they have been gradually imposing their control on people by creating, by passing legislation. That's one example. By creating these, uh, uh, these acts of terror. All right, goes back to their motto, order web chaos, order through chaos. If you bring enough chaos, you can scare people into accepting your order. Auto ab chaos. That is the symbol of the new world order. Auto ab chaos. 
We're going to bring our new world order through chaos. That's Esau. So over the years, they've been creating these uh, incidents which justify people to take their order. Okay? And they've been doing it gradually. Is a term called gradualism. So it's no different with the ultimate, the ultimate um, thing that they want, which is to have everyone chipped. So gradually, through the years, gradually, they've been causing incidences that will lead people to come to the only conclusion, which is to take this chip. Okay? And if you can't see that, then you're blind. Yahweh Shah have blinded you. I'm speaking to you Israelites out there. Okay, it's, it's just that simple. So again, when it says he causeth all, both small and great, that's exactly what he's doing. All right? Through these incidences, he's causing people to come to the final conclusion, which is to take this electronic device. Now, there's something he's going to do. All right? Something that this wicked elite is going to do. Okay? And it's going to cause people to beg for that. C-H-I-P. Now, us that know this knowledge, us that know this truth, we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through this knowledge and this truth. And we're going to trust that we will be delivered, especially if we reject his mark. Okay? As a matter of fact, here's an example. If we go in the book of Revelation 20, because the Apostle John saw that in a vision. He saw individuals that gotten the victory. Okay, we're going to read it. Matter of fact, um, let's go to Revelation 15, I believe it is. Revelation 15. It is right here. Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, which the last plague will be what? The nuclear missiles, the nuclear destruction, and the chariots of the Lord. Uh, Zechariah, the 14th chapter, goes into how the missiles will be a plague, and this shall be the plague wherewith if the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. That plague is the nuclear missiles in Reb, um, Zechariah, the 14th chapter. And when you go in Zechariah, the 5th chapter, it speaks about the flying roll entering into the house of the, the thief. It says, this is a curse. So what is that? that? Those are the chariots of the Lord invading this place, especially America, and destroying it. So when you have the combination of the missiles and the chariots of the Lord, both are plagued to Esau. Okay? So reading on, it says, I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. There you go. For in them is filled up the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Like I said, the missiles are plagued to Esau, his society, and also the chariots are plagued to Esau, his society. Both are going to bring destruction. Then you go to the next verse. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass, that's the ozone layer, mixed with fire, right? And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. Who is that? That is the elect of the nation of Israel. Because they're not going to take this CHIP. All right. They're going to fight to the death if they have to. The good fight of faith. They're going to fight to the death if they have to. Even though they're going to be arrested, brought to a detention center or concentration camp. And you're going to have certain individuals try to have them denounce their faith, which they're not going to do. And there are plenty of examples of prophets in the past, righteous men of the Lord in the past that have done that. All right, you read the story about Daniel. All right, you read the story about the, the song of the three holy children. All right, you have plenty of examples of individuals who denounce uh, uh, the, the, who denounce the um, edict of the state and trusted in Yahweh Shem Yahshai, even to death. So it's, it's not going to be any different now. You're going to have brothers who are going to denounce the state. The state wants to chip everyone. The state of the top banking families, they want to chip everyone. You're going to have brothers denouncing that and trusting in Yahweh Shem even to the point of death. 
So this is what we're reading here, Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark. Most importantly, over his mark. And over the number of his name, which is 666, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Heavenly Father. What does that mean? The meaning they were delivered. Having the harps of the Heavenly Father is the song of praise for the Heavenly Father for being delivered. As it is written, the remnant were affrighted and gave praise to who? What is that? Revelation 11, right? Let's get that. Revelation 11. Revelation 11 and... Uh, Revelation 11 and 13. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, which represent the great destruction of America through those missiles and the chariots. And the tenth part of the city fell, which is talking about America. And in the earthquake was slain of men 7,000, which is going to be a lot more than 7,000. Just means a lot of people uh, being put to death by that judgment. And the remnant were affrighted. Who is the remnant? The elect that's going to be saved out of that destruction. The elect of the nation of Israel. And gave glory to the heavenly father or the power of heaven. There you go. So that links up with what I just read in Revelation 15. All right. Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them, the remnant that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. So they're not going to take it. Unlike the majority of people on the planet Earth that are going to line up and take it because of the severe crisis that the top banking families are going to create, which are going to cause people to take it. You see? So it says, uh, I had gotten victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over his, the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass. They were delivered. They were in the chariots, having the harps of the Heavenly Father. Why? Praising the Heavenly Father for their deliverance. The remnant were affrighted and gave glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Okay? So again, going back to Revelation 13 and 16. That is exactly what the wicked elite want. Alright? They want everyone chipped. And again, that is what Nick Rockefeller told Aaron Russo. We want everyone chipped. That lines up with Revelation 13 and 16. And that means all the nations of the planet Earth, the top banking families, want them chipped. Okay? 